A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. City of Dreamers. A city of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. All right. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting. Welcome. For, you're on the same team. PIs and dealing with and dames. Like There's a lot of uh, you never know whether exposition. That I forgot about. Oh, it's your oh yeah. The fact that the game opens and they're like the car. So who do you it's the symbol of our whole. Like what? I made up my mind a long time. Is it? I think you were you were so excited. I mean, I know in North Korea you were just like, like nobody's allowed cars apart from the government because it's a symbol of wealth. Like that's apparently how things roll there. So yeah, I can kind of see it from Where? that point of view in North Korea. Roger, fourteen. Oh really? Apparently. Either that or they just, right. you know, never bothered to give anybody cars and just relied on public transport. Speaking of cars, uh, <laughs> never should have let me back behind the wheel. Oh, no. Hey, you said you weren't oh, going to be grumpy. No, I'm not being grumpy. I'm just like, I'm okay. just watching you drive. So That's we all. Know, yeah, we know so what, uh, this um, is what we're doing here. In true part timer yeah, fashion, we've started again. Yeah. <laughs> Because we just it love doesn't, it doesn't always. It, to be fair, it's only happened every once in a while uh, now. Uh, but in this case, we'll spare you the details. But basically, I was in a bad mood didn't that work, day. Basically, well, that's how the things stand didn't on my work. end. Like the last like three episodes of the seven that we had recorded just weren't working. Like the audio was there. Yeah. In fact, it was kind of funny to watch it back because it was just the part timers banner, and then every now and again, Julian would go. Ooh, what's that? And stuff like that. Like, you couldn't hear me at all. Couldn't see any of the game. You could just hear Julian commentating on what was happening. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking over Courtney Sheldon's lame name. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Um, you're probably getting this vibe already, but Courtney... Sheldon just gives me a really creepy vibe. And I've said this already, but he looks like a guy I went to school with who had an mm. equally creepy... Well, he wasn't creepy. He was just weird. Mm. It's a very strange guy. It wasn't a bad guy, per se. Like, not, not a terrible human being, but just strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a bizarre sort of, like, chaotic energy around them do you know what i mean i'm sure there's been lots of people mean. like that that you've yeah, been to school yeah, yeah. with i think the fact that he's so close to fontaine here mr southern brain doctor just mm. it's a bit of a, a red flag over him for me you know mm. for sure like he's uh 
Mr. Fontaine's a bit sketchy. Sheldon Cooper. No, Courtney Sheldon's a bit sketchy. I was about to call him Sheldon Cooper. Which is not <laughs> Sheldon <one>. Cooper. <laughs> It's not his name. Different series. Different series. Very different. Series. Yeah. Yeah. Still creepy. Well, Don't yeah. like that character either. He's a bit weird. Oh, just, just the whole um, like Big Bang Theory is just. Oh yeah. It's just not. It's just not. Um, it's a mess. Anyway, yeah. So a couple of episodes didn't work and. I was in a bad mood, and I was just being mean, Ooh. and it just wasn't happening. And it was just a bit weird. Everything was kind of off, but yeah, because Julian had been starving himself all day, and decided that that was a good day to record stuff when he was hangry. Doesn't look like anything. John, be careful, right? <laughs> it wasn't. Those yeah. were the facts. Well, uh, you hadn't eaten all day. Uh, you were hangry. Am I wrong? No, you're right, yeah. Oh, I wonder what that is. But like if a, you put it like starving spider. myself, it you makes me sound like I have some kind of eating disorder. Hell of a way to go. No, you just weren't eating that day. Really matter how you're yeah, I, yeah, I am technical term for it as fasting. I suppose you would put blood. it as starving yourself. A lot but of blood. Yeah, there is a lot of blood. Oh, and there's a gun on the roof. How are we going to get it? Oh, I know. There's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? Because the game buzzed and told me. Looks like it might be our weapon. Cool. Let me see if I can find a way up there. It's a cool yeah, feature that way up. when the game, when the control, when the controller buzzes. Mm. I don't know. Actually, like, I was complaining about this during our last playthrough because it got, it became a bit Pavlovian. Like any time it buzzed, I was just like X. What is it? Which meant that I was looking at bottles and stuff and then getting annoyed when it wasn't important. Because I was like, the game told me to look at it! Which it did, but you're supposed to also kind of use your brain a bit and be like, is this something worth looking at or is this just trash? Two rounds fired. Yeah. Instead of dropping it down a drain, I shoot it. And if not, trash. it's always an opportunity to do a little bit of improv. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Follow up on this now before yeah. the to leave town. Let me follow yeah, I was, uh, Get up. Also, the other thing... The other thing that was happening was that you were Let's take it back just to we could giving me all these LAPD facts. Show some yeah. Uh, and I was just like, what the f I was just felt totally alienated. Like, I didn't know what was happening. It was just not a good day. <laughs> but I, mean, I did do a lot of research. American police. American police in is general. Just, but... Yeah, I watched a... Uh, um, uh, you know, Anthony Padilla... No. Uh, from Smosh, or was in Smosh. He's not in Smosh anymore, but he has his own YouTube channel, and he interviews people who have had, like, people who are conjoined twins, or have uh, had, like, near death experiences, or were, like, or the one that I'm going to be referencing is the death row survivors. Okay. Um, and. Holy crap, it's mental. Like, they were, like, the guy, the people that he interviewed, they were basically just looking for anyone. Yeah. To just go, yep. They did it. Yep. Even though they had, they were not involved and they were completely innocent, but they just, they were, it's, there's this, like, uh, it probably still is, but even more so back then, there was this kind of tribalism in. Or there is this tribalism in like, um, in like, U.S. police. Yes. It's mad. It's mad. It's a very but kind I... of us and them thing. Like, I think it comes yeah. a lot from like a militaristic training. Like, the police aren't there as like community, like, guides or whatever. They're there to essentially be police force for the people. Yeah. Which. Not really how uh, it should be, in my opinion. No. No, that's true. I, but I think you can kind of tell from like, like for example, for example, the, the inception of the um, UK police, which was I think they became the police force, and the UK became like a proper thing in like the 19th century, like mid to late 19th century. Am I right? Yeah, yeah roughly. Yeah, and like I think 18th, it was created 40, with the idea of being like. Um, 
you know, just there to help the community. Yes or, and no, like, um, you can sorry, tell me more. On. I can, in fact, I can. Hang on. Um, bear with me. What's up? Well, I'm getting. Do you want me to pause the timer? I'm getting out a book. <laughs> Why are you getting that book? You're supposed to be playing a video police game. Police force was created. The British police first British police force was created in 1829 by Mr. Oh, Robert. Oh right! Wow. Yes. Can you tell us anything about this? So a lot earlier was, than I had yes. thought. They had various nicknames, um, such as the Peelers, yes. because they were created by Robert Peel. Same gun used by um, right. Along the same lines, Peel's <laughs> bloody gang. He's the owner. No, um, the raw <laughs> lobsters because they wore blue uniforms. Similarly, right. the blue devils. Um, crushers because they have batons that, or truncheons rather, that would crush people's heads. Um, for some reason, uh -huh. cheese. Cheese was a was a nickname for cops. Um, cops, in fact, came from the Roman capere, which means to capture. Um, yeah, it's. You know, the police The police have always been... Well, people also uh, would... Oi. It's uh, Schroeder Arrow, you want? Yeah, I know, but I'm trying... I thought I'd clicked on it. This is... No, you, is, you this clicked is the spanner uh, all over Fanny. again. Errol Schroeder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the pigs. February pigs was one of the first ones that kind of... Thanks, you've been that a big still help. sticks. Mm. Pigs and coppers, I think, are the ones oh, that really kind of stuck. Yeah. Uh, Rosers... Yeah, I really don't like, um, I don't like pigs out of all of them. I mean, crushers is also fucking terrible, but well, like... nobody really calls them crushers anymore, I suppose. No, no, but, um, I don't know, man. Like, even if you don't like a certain, I don't know, it's just, it's just another derogatory term. And I don't know what you gain from, even if it is, uh a group that is oppressing you. Yeah. Like, I don't know what you gain from just spouting and derogatory turn back. It just well, You just basically lower yourself to their level. Yeah, you're, you're stooping at that point. But I think part of it yeah. was just kind of a, a very human thing of yeah, like, so this is something hard, new, we've never form, seen it before, and we feel like it's infringing on our lives. So we're going to lash mm. out at it, you know? Like, yeah. whether or not Robert Peel's about, intentions were, let's have a kind of community service, people looking out for each other sort of thing. Or if he mm. was thinking like, we need some folks to keep order around here. Because Victorian England, well, Victorian Britain really, you know, there was a lot of poverty and as a result, there was a lot of kind of petty yeah. crime. Like pickpocketing, yeah, looting, uh, garroting, stuff like that. It was very, very common. So that was kind of why Peel was like, hey, we should maybe have some boys out on the streets, keep an order. Yeah. But then, of course, the more responsibility you give them and the more power you give them, it can corrupt them a bit and it can make it not quite what it was supposed to be. It's much with anything, really. But that's why you mm. get people referring to them as pigs and rosers and yeah. whatever, because... <laughs> Because all it's of a sudden like, here were these men coming along to tell them how to live their lives, and it's like we don't want. Yeah, them. John, this is just this is just a question. I was trying to find uh, a way over the, the bridge. No, 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 no. Listen, no, it's not a question. Uh, I was gonna ask you. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. All I was gonna ask you was see the left trigger the on left. Um, the left trigger on my controller. Is it working? It certainly is. That's good to know. That triggers reverse, though. It's a, does it, it has another function, too. No, you're thinking of handbrake, which is right bumper. Oh, you don't need to just handbrake. Do I need to handbrake turn? No. I'm not saying... I mean, I'm just... I was just checking. Do you want me to turn the side? That was a not? sick handbrake turn. <laughs> like... That was really good. Here's another one. Plus, I'm not... I'm... I'm just... That was sick. Thank you. That was that was so good. Well, I'm curious now. What is it you think the left More trigger does other turns. than reverse? Eh? What does the left trigger do other than reverse? Oh, no, man. Test it out. 
it's fucking crazy. You should press it while you're pressing the right trigger. It's fucking crazy, man. Like, basically, all of Phelps' clothes come off. It's. Um, oh, it's. <laughs> This is what happens if you press both triggers at the same time. Yeah. The car stops. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't, it's not that it stops, it's just no, that it slows stops. down. It stops, Julian. It did not move. It, it's that... Oh, but you don't... You see, you, you sometimes... You, 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 you push it down and you lift it up. Mm. It's kind of... Uh, I should take you on uh, a ride in my car. I should insure you. I like driving in my car. I hate that song. I'm sorry, it's I mean, I don't. It's I, I don't. I I quite like madness. I quite like a bit of madness, but I really cannot. I, that's the one song I'm like, no. Yeah. I know what you mean. I was sure. thinking about a uh, a joke about the elephant, which we're not supposed which to really talk about. The elephant in the room. Oh right. You know the thing we're not supposed to talk about. I was thinking about that. And I was like, the elephant, or as you know, as we know it by another name, want? the elephant is like scat. Mm -hmm. A second wave is probably <laughs> not great, but nobody wants a third wave. No, that's a that's a great joke. Actually, I mean, I know I didn't laugh, but I I laughed intellectually. If that makes sense. <laughs> Gun here in my you, you know what I mean. I, yeah, like I, somebody yeah. makes a joke, it's funny, what and you fuck? think and you acknowledge that it's funny. All right, punches lights out. True yeah, LAPD yeah. fashion. Done. Just done. Just destroy him. Done. Just, Come on, yeah. get up, fat boy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Sorry, Let's go. that was so funny. Bro. Just a little fucking, the, the little jab. Oh, so oh. Take him Ooh. down. Ralph, you all I hope right? you like sandwiches. Fine. I hardly felt Where did he learn to fight? In the army. What yeah. kind of martial arts do they teach in the army? That's crazy. I mean, hand-to-hand -hand combat, certainly. Um, I do know that, um... Certainly, a lot of U.S. servicemen ended up just learning karate, and then they ended up opening up dojos in America after the war. Yeah, and then they started uh, this fucking terrible wave of um, American karates and American dojos, um, which. Uh, if you're not well versed in that kind of stuff, look up. It's an Instagram account called McDojo Life, and I'm pretty sure he has a YouTube channel. McDojo. But um, yeah. All right. You know, sounds, it's a dojo, but it's promising. But American, yes. Yeah, like it's, it's taking the, you know, it, it's it, you can tell a McDojo by a couple of quite a few things. If you can get right now, like your excuse me, sergeant, but excuse me, fuck you. You say another word, <laughs> break your fucking head and have you in the break. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Do you know what's mad? Bob Ross used yes, to do that. I know. Fucking stooges and you're I know. Here for OCS. Bob Ross. My dad couldn't believe it when I told him that Bob Ross was a drill sergeant. He was like, really? Can you imagine him as a drill sergeant? And then he started doing a bit about like, Maryland. All right, now we're going to grab our friends and we're going to get into a nice line. And we're starting on the right <laughs> foot. And here we OCS go. You take the no, I was like, no, but that's why he, that's why he speaks so softly on the show is because he this hated how yeah. aggressive he had to be as a drill sergeant. Yeah. So he became a nice, peaceful boy. Painting. Oh, painting. right there. Give us painting. your best. Uh, give us your best. Ura. <laughs> oh, Sonny, I'm gonna have to beat the devil out of you. <laughs> You climb obstacles like old people fuck. You were here. That's one of my favorite lines from uh, Full Metal Jacket. You have to choose sides. That's a, fact, that's a movie I've still not seen. Anything out of Arlie Emery's mouth 
is yeah. is fantastic in that film. Sounds to me like the best part of you slid down the crack of your mama's ass and wound up as a brown stain on the mattress. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's brutal. Well, he's playing a drill sergeant, and Full Metal Jacket yeah. is all about like Vietnam and kind of how mm. it dehumanized a lot of people, sort of thing, you know. And oh, examines, for sure. Examines the process of it. So the drill section, oh. which is like the first forty minutes of the film or something like that, like it's pretty full on. It's pretty Full Metal did Jacket. I, did I tell you my? Did I ever tell you my dad? Almost joined the police force. Uh, I think it came up. Why couldn't I knock over that trash can? I don't know, man. This game's unreal you... as fuck. Have you, you've done that. You've done that in real life for the car. What? I suppose we don't have. Uh, we don't have trash cans. We have like dust bins. Plastic wheelie bins. Yeah. Aye. Um, and they are very easy to move with your car. Very I've, easy. I've many times accidentally just like if I'm reversing or something just hit my wheelie bin. bin. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Don't drop your shotgun. Whatever you do. <laughs> or I promise nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. Please do. It will make it more authentic. Uh huh. So you're done. It will make it an actual part of the experience. experience. Yeah, he did. So, um, actually gives you a bit of insight into Argentinian police force. Which is also just generally quite corrupt. I mean, like, I grew up near Buenos Aires, so that's the kind of... It, it always tends to be, like, big city cops. Oh, always. Always the worst, you know? Um, but he was, he was just going through the training, and he wasn't really... I mean, you know my dad. Can you imagine him being a police officer? Not really. He's quite cheery. No. Yeah, and soft-spoken. Yeah. And just pretty chill. And a Marxist. Like... Yes. You know, they, they, they don't really all go together. Ow. No. I got a whole I mean, my as back. much... As much as some Marxists liked police states, most of them don't. I think a lot of dictators did, whether or not they were Marxists. Stay in cover. Mm. Although a lot, some of them Marxism weren't. name only. Yeah. That's it. I think. I think. I don't know. I think in the same way that Nazism was different to fascism, I think Stalinism and Maoism is very different to like Marxism. Like by the time that these guys came into power and started making rules, it was not entirely what it, it was in the beginning, but sort of thing. I don't know that Nazism is much different from fascism, though. It's like, not, but it's it's it's. It's that idea of the cult of personality sort of thing. So like Nazism was, mm. yes, it was fascism, but it was also kind of like as it, the it was name basically Nazi just meant, Hitlerism, like, national socialism, Hitlerism. Yeah, absolutely. Like they formed, yeah. they made Hitler this this demagogue, and they were like, we're gonna to listen to everything he says, and his word is law. And it's exactly what happened yeah. with Stalin and Mao. You know, they came in and they were like, fuck it, this is how we're mm. doing things now. And and to yeah, and the you know. The, the Kim family as well. Yes. When I need your yes, opinion, exactly, yeah. Sport. Yeah. They talk about officers like you and this video is going to get banned in North Korea, I know. Oh, well. Guys who oh, well. Dreaming of I feel sorry for the, for the part-time uh, part fans in North, North Korea. So. Couldn't yeah, watch our Lord of the Rings. If you're living in Pyongyang and your internet's not censored and you're enjoying our part-time series, we're sorry. Yeah. You can't watch I wonder... This. I do genuinely wonder why it was just censored because it was like the only and this is going to sound sad maybe a bit like um you guys who should have been friends what you call it um uh, what's the word fuck um conspiracy theory ish yes but i'd imagine that something like lord of the rings would probably inspire too much hope in the people of north no, korea yeah i think i think we spoke about that a bit when we were playing uh, conquest yeah yeah it sounds silly because to us like lord of the rings is literally it's a story it's a story written by a nice man <laughs> called jrr tolkien it's a nice story I mean, by a nice man I mean, he was a nice man. He was a nice man, as far as we know. Um, uh, yeah, as far as we know. Um, 
his uh, his son seemed to be a bit posh, but yeah, Christopher. Yeah. Christopher. Yes. Okay. Um, you seem fine. Come back here, fat boy. But, um, I know he hated it. I absolutely hate your allegory. But anyway, yeah, uh, no, so it's just again. a. This shit, or yeah, just press up. I am pressing up. No, yeah, but you were trying to do the twirly thing. I was, yeah. Yeah, you see? You see, I I know you. This is... I, I fucking know you. I'll be mentioning that in my fucking groom speech. I'll be like, here's a funny story about John. He twirls his controller. See that left thumbstick? Well, see, to me, the controller is everything. Like, it was like, I was watching- No, you're right, you're right. We were playing the the you know, pod race thing, and then you re discovered while I went for a pee that if you push the stick forward, you went faster. Yeah. yeah. And like, that to me is obvious, power. but no that's just because I'm- To me, that wasn't obvious. Stick. Exactly, yeah. Because I was thinking flight. along the lines of like a uh, racing game, like yeah, you just X press X and you go for yeah. yeah. So you, I totally understand where you're coming from, and you totally understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. And in fact, upon reflection, like as I was watching said episode, it occurred to me that maybe X doesn't actually do anything, and that it's entirely in the joystick. And that wow. I press X because I feel like I should. Because as you say, all some... recent games you're just like press X and go. You, can make it up you know. To him that is some like time. old school Watch like. This hump will be like, back in the controls. By yeah. Well, not push anyone, forward like, on the controls, forward, on the yeah. control stick to go forward. Like, yeah, yeah, wow. No one does Basic that. as it gets. Even by the time I know. I mean, this game came, after, came out after things like Na Crash Nitro Kart and Crash Team Marine Racing Corps and everything and like that, where, uh, you know, and to to talking not necessarily so Nintendo games, where, like, you'd have Mario Kart. Possible. Even Mario yeah. Kart, you press right e whatever to go. You know? Yes, uh, I think it's A. There, yeah. there you are. You know? It's common sense. So, as you say, you're, as soon as you get into a racing game, you're like, alright, I'll press X. It'll make me go faster. Mm, I remember this guy having a weird ass head. <laughs> and Kelso having a really shit time. Yeah, because it gave him like a really bad rating. Kelso, two, leadership. Because as the voice of the yeah. man said, they, they're... I don't remember six, why. Six, not friends. Phelps is like... So, if I remember correctly, Phelps is like, if we're going to give him like a... If we're going to give him like an, a D&D &D alignment, he would definitely be on the... He's lawful, but he's like lawful neutral in that yeah. he follows the... Well, no, he's lawful good because he follows the rules and you'll see that in later like investigations like like his commanding officer not commanding officer but like whoever he's under will be like yeah no we got it and he'll be like no there's too much shit that's left unanswered so definitely lawful good in that sense but um kelso is more of a more of a neutral good kind of kind of a boy yeah you know he's a he's a little bit more of a loose gun has anyone called an ambulance? Still a good guy. We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. No, he died. No, he's dead. No, he's dead. First he died. Hey, Cole. No, no, he, he did. did. You got here quick. I beat cross the seventh street. Okay. Mm. You're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. <laughs> I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> Classic. Right. I think we're going to have to inspect this body in the next episode, my guy. All right. Well, thanks all for tuning in. <laughs> Look at that corpse. Isn't he handsome? Uh, well, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, follow us on social media, share the video, yeah. tell your friends. Fuck the police. We'll see you next time. D uh, bye. Depends on. All right. Bye. <laughs> part timers. We do this part time. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.